That's right, Kevin and Jennifer. This is the same marina those Coast Guard crews are trying to get the boat to. It'll arrive here sometime this night or tonight or early um, tomorrow morning. But earlier today at this same location, family and friends reunited with their loved ones who were stranded out on that boat. We talked to some passengers and they say once they got out there, they said they didn't realize that the odds were not going to work out in their favor when they realized they were stranded at sea. After 24 hours of what some are calling a nightmare, loved ones are excited to be reunited with family members who were stranded on this boat. The escapade for more than 15 hours. It's very scary, harrowing, harrowing in every syllable of that word. Veronica Snowden Hayward is one of many who were stranded at sea when the escapade got stuck on a sandbar off the Tybee coast. To get off of that boat, See all of that water out there, my Lord. There was a beach. The only dry land that I know of that water just left was the parting of the Red Sea, and we weren't there. I want to say at about 1 o'clock, she said that it was stuck. Haywood's daughter, Tara Sinclair, told us Tuesday night she's been in contact with her mother. She says a very scary situation, so she gathered the family and waited in the parking lot until she knew her mother would be safe. And then and she went through a fear factor moment. We had to jump from the ship to a rafter and then climb a, you know, a, a ladder rope at 66. They said they had a Jacob's ladder. I know the Jacob's ladder, but that wasn't one that I wanted to climb down. So I'm not leaving until he gets here. Stephanie Hallbright's fiance works as a DJ on the boat. She, like many families, communicated with him through text messages. I got a text saying, I'm stuck in the middle of the ocean, and which I thought he was joking. All he wanted was one thing. He wanted a hot meal and just to be home. But one thing many passengers say they don't anticipate is stepping back onto a boat anytime soon. Of course not. <laughs> And a lot of the passengers said that they have pets or little animals at home that went without food for about 24 hours. So once they got off uh, the um, buses here, they rushed home to take care of those animals. But majority everybody are just happy to be back on dry land and they're going to go home and be have a comfortable night of sleep tonight, unlike what they had last night. But for now, reporting on Wilmington Island, Ashley Lincoln for WJCL News, working for you.